I started to eat, chewing faster and faster, swirling the macaroni in my bowl with the tips of my chopsticks, gulping down long draughts, the dense whiteness of the alcohol coating my throat as it slipped down towards my stomach. My mother was talking about the fish market, about the catch coming in late. She needed fugu for the seal lal meal in a week's time, and there was nothing but octopus available. I stopped listening. I was eating, drinking. I lost all control. My mother was the only fishmonger in Sokcho with a license to prepare blowfish. The organs contained lethal toxins, but with the right skills you could use the translucent flesh to create real works of art. My mother served it whenever she wanted to dazzle her guests. I coughed. Magioli spilled into my, onto my coat. Still talking, my mother dapped at my coat with a paper napkin she'd used to wipe the grease from her mouth. The patch on my coat began to smell of sour milk. My mother topped up my bowl, smiling happily. I felt sick. I carried on eating and drinking, stuffing myself. It was always the same when I was with her. I couldn't stop myself. She ordered another pancake. This is an excerpt from this novel, Winter in Sokcho, by the French writer Elisa Chua du Sapin. And this is the novel that I'm going to review. Let's get started. Before I heard of this book, Winter in Sokcho, I had never heard of Sokcho before. I don't know about you. The French-Korean writer Elisa Chua du Sapin has written this book in 2016. It was published in 2016, and Elisa Chua du Sapin was born in 1992, so she was 24 years old when this novel was published in French. And now, four years later, in 2020, the book was also published in English, the first translation into English by Chua du Sapin's work. And... This woman, this young woman is 29 years old as of today, and she has already published three novels. One more will be coming in English, which is called The Pachinko Parlor. I think it comes next year, early next year in 2022. And the third one, I'm very sure, will come as well. Winter in Sacho has been shortlisted for the National Book Award in the United States for Best Work of Literature in Translation. Where should I start? This novel is about a woman, a young woman, living in Sakcho in South Korea. Sakcho is a city on the east. It has about 90,000 um, inhabitants. It's in the um, Gangwon province, um, north of Sakcho, about 200 kilometers north, is the, the, the border to North Korea, one of the most um, heavily armed borders in the whole world, as you know. And this young woman, she lives, she has studied in Seoul, in the capital, which is west of such about two and a half hours drive by bus. I learned that you tra travel a lot of with beautiful buses in South Korea. And um, the eye narrator, who doesn't have a name, has moved back to Sokcho and she works in a little hostel kind of thing, cheap rooms, and she does all kinds of different work there for a guy called Park, who owns the place. Her mother is living in Sokcho, and I think that's the way, that's the reason why she moved back to, to Sokcho. And one night per week, this young woman in her 20s spends with her mother. She sleeps with her mother, and her mother is, it's a very intimate kind of way of sleeping that I'm not going to describe here. But um, it's a very interesting relationship. And there's always, this. the mother is a fishmonger. She's an expert of, of uh, cooking fish, and especially this fish that is super poisonous if you don't prepare it in the right way, the blowfish. The eye narrator is the daughter of this Korean mother and of a French man who left the mother in Korea when before the child, before the daughter was born. So she has never met her father. And one day... A French guy is checking into that hostel. A French guy who was born, I think, in 1969, who could more or less be a father figure for the eye narrator, and she starts some kind of relationship with him and he with her. They travel together to North Korea, not to North Korea, but to the border on a day trip. They 
go in the mountains on another trip and there are beautiful descriptions of uh, the trip to the border and of the um, mountains and also of uh, returning descriptions of fish 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 and seafood and octopus which i don't like to eat actually so there's a lot of seafood in Sakcho. Otherwise, there's not much to do, especially in the winter. So why is this French guy coming to Sakcho? He is a writer. He's a writer. He draws graphic novels, and he wants to find another story in Sakcho. That's what he tells the Aina narrator, at least. And um, she um, sees a bit of her father. Maybe this guy is her father. We never know. We never get to know. Spoiler alert here. No, not a spoiler. But... He could be her father, biologically, from the age, but we don't know. It's it's a very uh, dark novel. It's a novel where not much happens, but still it sort of embraces you as the reader and gets you into that strange world on the west coast, on the east coast of South Korea, um, in Sokcho, and you get interested into the the city. That's what I got, got at least. The novel has only 150 pages so it's not very long it was published in 2016 it won a couple of awards already the prix robert walser it won also the prix regine de forge and even the second novel les bill du pachinko was renowned in france and the third novel came when winter in sakcha was published in english there was a third novel by the author called vladivostok circus i also link um a discussion that she had, the author had with two guys, two two people from Switzerland, in the commentary section, in, in the description section down below, so that you can also see a discussion with the author. I think it's in English. I really like this author. I like the edition of Winter in Sakcho. It's a beautiful edition, which I have already talked earlier about. The translation by Anessa Abbas Higgins is great. And the British um, publisher, it's called Dawn Books. Dawn Books makes very beautiful pocket books, all for £9.99, which is about, I think, 12, 13 American dollars and uh, maybe also 12 euros. So they always have the same price for their books and they have great authors. And they will have more Elisa Shua du Sapon. That was a really a good read. I liked it very much. If you have read Winter and Sakcho, please tell me what do you think and what you thought about it. And uh, I won't give any spoilers, but uh, I would love to discuss the end of the novel with someone who has read it, maybe on my Discord server. The link to the Discord is down below. We're not going to talk about the end of the novel here. Um, it's a strange ending, that I can say. So thanks very much for watching this very short description of the book, more than a review probably, but I want to really tell you to read this Winter in Sakcho by Elisa Chua du Sapin and to get your eyes open for this author because she's so young and so talented. We're going to hear more about her, I'm sure, in the future. Thanks very much for watching this review. Um, the next one will be Mieko Kawakami's Heaven, which I will review maybe even tomorrow. So thanks very much and... As always, stay tuned to the channel. Most of all, stay safe. Bye-bye.